Hey guys, it's Jez again, and I'm back today with a special guest. I have Vodka Soda, Town Hall 11, in the raid with me today. How's it going today, Vodka? Hey, Jez, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Oh, anytime, man, anytime. Um, so today, guys, I usually bring a lot of Town Hall 10 content. Um, I've done a little bit of 9, but no 11 so far, and that's not fair, is it? So I um, wanted to bring one of our, our top Town Hall 11s on and have him talk about been doing a lot of really good air raids lately. And uh, so, Vika, why lately have you been moving from ground to air? Well, yeah, like you said, I'm one of the 11s in the raided. Um, and like a lot of 11s in the game right now, uh, I'm using a lot of my raids on Town Hall 10s to try to get um, three stars consistently. And ideally, um, fresh is good when you can. Um, and, you know, a lot of our 11s, like everybody else in the game, we're using a lot of bowler heavy armies, bowlers and healers, bowlers and witches, used to be bowlers and miners. But, um, you know, I was getting a little bit stale on those attacks and I had seen some really cool dip attacks using air. So I just decided it was time to um, expand my or, or, you know, diversify my attack strategy. So I've been working on it a lot in FCs and I've had really some good success with it in the last few wars. Um, in the current meta, as I'm sure everybody knows, it's so ground heavy that in the average clan you're going to go against, there will be a few bases like this that are just asking for an air attack. So they what are. about what about this base said to you, Vodka, you must <laughs> use loons and, and, and hounds on me? Well, the number one thing right away that I noticed was all the expos are set to ground so they can't target any air troops. That's number one. Um, number two, like a lot of these current meta bases, the infernos are way out in the outside of the um, base, as are the air defenses. Um, and then all, on top of that, it has max walls. So any, even though this isn't a max 10, those max walls will make any ground attack a little tougher and you'll have a little less room for error. So, oh, and then also the obvious that it has under upgraded um, air defenses for, um, for the overall weight of the base. Um, also, specifically, what really made this great for Golava, if you, if you look up towards the, kind of the 10 o'clock quadrant of this base, right you see there is in a very small uh, area, you see two air defenses, one Inferno Tower, the Queen, the Clan Castle, and one air blower. So when I saw that coupled with the grounded expos, I mean, it's a given that a kill squad should be able to take out all three of, or all of those major objectives and then I'm just using a go lava that only involves two hounds. Um, so it's heavier on the kill squad and lighter on the air part, which is easier for me to manage mentally. Cool. Well, I'm going to start the raid here. And uh, you, you let me know, you know, what your thought process is worth sure. through this. So for starters, just a couple archers to clear some trash buildings. Um, then I'll do giants on the left side and a golem on the right to clear the trash buildings, create the funnel. Um, another thing about this raid is I use my Grand Warden for the ground portion, for the kill squad, which for me, you get a good bit of value out of him, and then I don't have to think about him on the air part, you know, and there's plenty of other things to worry about. So yeah. create the funnel, in goes to me, in goes all three heroes, along with eight max bowlers, and then a rage. And you'll watch everything that I was trying to take out just melts. The queen goes down, the CC goes down, the air defenses go down, um, everything's down. If you'll pause it right now, Yep. Um, so right now I've, I've completed all my ground objectives. And so now it's time to start the air portion. So if you look at the base right now, I could have kind of um, come from either the uh, seven o'clock side or the two o'clock side. And the reason I picked the seven o'clock side is if you see um, where the air blower is, that last air blower can really throw things for a loop if you don't account for it. So if you can see the, the way I'm coming in here, I'm going to kind of be able to attack the air to, uh, air blower early and from behind so that it never really messes with any of my pathing. So I'm going to push play, yeah. Um, Hound comes down, and as it's picking up some traps and catching some fire, I'm going to start dropping loons in on that one quadrant with some haste to help them. Second of two hounds comes in from the south with another haste. Um, and actually right here, if you watch, I have a misclick. I meant to drop a freeze after that raid, but instead I mishit my haste. But 
since everything else went so smooth, it didn't have a big effect on this. Well, I least. liked it because you actually had it for this air defense because your your hounds were about to pop right here. It did. It, it worked out well. Um, once I realized what I had done and I looked down, I realized I had that freeze. I figured I better slow down that air defense on those hounds. So, um, you know, you basically you're pathing everything around the base. Now, essentially, this raid is over. Um, there's a couple defenses left, nothing that's really affecting air too much. Um, so now it's just clean up. Had a couple wizards left in the bag, plenty of balloons still up. That last lava hound popped at the perfect time for cleanup. Um, and it's a lock. Um, you know, could this base have been mass bowlered and healered? Maybe, but I think it would have, you'd have had a lot less troops. Tough because it does walls. Yeah, I mean, it would have been a tougher attack and it may or may not have worked, but as you can see by the amount of troops left on the board here, I mean, this this base was very weak. And and one more thing I'll point out, that I'm new to this attack, so if you look at my troops, um, I have level three hounds and level six loons. So those aren't even maxed, and my haste spells that I'm using are level two. So, you know, I still so have a lot What you're of saying is that you should never fail this attack once you've <laughs> upgraded, right? You have maxed troops, no. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is that, you know, this is a powerful attack on the right base and you don't even need to have max troops to be able to do it. Well, yeah, th this definitely proves that you must've had, I'm, I think I, there's gotta be 10, 12 loons left easy right there. Yeah, and This one went other than that one spell misclick, this went exactly to plan. Wow. Um, so just a quick review of it, you know, your kill squad, I'm using my warden with the kill squad. I'm using bowlers and I want to take out two air defenses, one inferno, the queen and the CC. And that way my two hounds and 16 or so loons that are left um, only have to deal with two air defenses and one inferno, which is pretty doable most of the time. Well, I learned a lot. <laughs> Hope everybody else did. This was, this was, a, I mean, when I saw it, it was a wrecking. So um, great work there, Vodka. Appreciate you taking time to come on the channel and uh, hopefully this will help some 11s out there out. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Joseph. Thanks for all the good content you're putting out. All right. Thanks, man. Have a great one. Yep. All right, guys. Well, that has been um, rated, tested, literally, and uh, Jezza approved. So y'all have a great day.